Hi everyone. This is a spotlight on a new independent feature film called Matcha and Vanilla, written and directed by Hamish Downey. Now Matcha and Vanilla tells the story of a lesbian couple, Ai and Yuki, and the obstacles that they have to deal with both financially and emotionally uh, after Yuki receives a diagnosis with terminal lung cancer and as Ai deals with the realities of unemployment. Uh, the film takes two different approaches and blends them seamlessly and effectively. Now, on the one hand, there's a strong current of social realism. Uh, much of the film is shot in a you know, very kind of straightforward, realist style and deals with the, uh, kind of the social realities that the, that the couple has to face um, in navigating issues like health care, uh, dealing with the landlord to pay the rent, the job search process, and the larger uh, societal prejudices that they encounter as well. On the other hand, there is a strong current of romantic melodrama that, that runs throughout much of the film. Uh, sometimes in the, in the plotting of the, film, the, the film's plot, and also in isolated sequences uh, where, where the character, where, where Ai and Yuki are, um, you know, are alone together. There are these you know, beautiful romantic moments that are done with, through this kind of very uh, stylized approach. Uh, with this, this uh, kind of diffused cinematography and uh, very you know, uh, powerful and beautiful music score. And as I say, both of these approaches uh, work uh, quite well when they're blended so seamlessly like this. I think it looks at different aspects of these characters, of their lives, of their situations, and you know, it finds the kind of the, the, the highs and the lows and the um, you know, just the different, um, the range of emotions and that the, the, the range of emotions that they're dealing with in their day-to-day -day lives and conveys this stylistically. Uh, so it blends quite well uh, because, it, because um, it's not, the film is not just focusing on one aspect of their life or one particular mood. It, it really is going through the full uh, range of their emotions and experiences during this uh, d difficult, uh, extremely difficult um, time in both their lives. In that sense, it actually reminded me of some of the best films of Douglas Sirk in terms of how he would deal with these kind of social issues through this very stylized lens. Um, in that sense, I thought it, it worked uh, very well here. There's also, of course, a lot to be said about these, uh, the, the, the fine performances of, of the lead actors, as I mentioned, uh, some really beautiful cinematography and this uh, ev evocative music score that I think complemented uh, the, the images uh, quite well. Uh, there's a lot to recommend here. I, I suggest checking this film out when it's available, and it's a, an impressive uh, feature directorial debut from Hamish Downey. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later.